மலர்கள் கேட்டேன் வனமே தந்தனை தண்ணீர் கேட்டேன் அமிர்தம் தந்தனை மலர்கள் கேட்டேன் வனமே தந்தனை தண்ணீர் கேட்டேன் அமிர்தம் தந்தனை சத்குரு ஸோ நம்ம ஃபஸ்ட் காவேரி காலிங்கை பற்றி பேசலாம் ஜஸ்ட் டு மேக் எவ்ரி திங் ஜஸ்ட் ஜஸ்ட் சிம்பிளிஃபைட் ஃபார் பீப்புள் லைக் ஐ நியூ காவேரி காலிங் வாஸ் ஹேப்பனிங் பட் ஐ நியூ தட் ஓகே இட்ஸ் சம்திங் அபவுட் சேவிங் காவேரி பட் ஆஃப்டர் கமிங் ஹியர் ஐ காட் டு நோ தட் இட் ஹேஸ் அ லாட் டு டூ வித் ட்ரீஸ் அண்ட் யூ நோ பிளான்டிங் ட்ரீஸ் அண்ட் சாயில் அண்ட் ஃபார்மர்ஸ் அண்ட் எக்கனா ரூரல் எக்கானமி பிக் டைம் தட் இஸ் த மெயின் திங் ஆக்சுவலி சே வாட்ஸ் ஹேப்பன் இஸ் திஸ் வி ஹேவ் mood agriculture from traditional ways of doing things where people had the wisdom to understand without keeping the soil quality there is no agriculture somehow we lost this wisdom because of commercial forces and a certain lacuna in the policy making so one thing that happened is because machines came animals disappeared animals became a burden for people people did not retain the knowledge of how to use the animals in the farm even if they don't work even if a, an animal doesn't work for plowing and things like that even if a machine is being done by those things still an animal could be hugely useful if you just use the dung and the urine of the animal a bovine animal a lot can be done on the farm but right now what we did was just go for chemical fertilizer because somebody campaign and advertise their products and uh, because of this because of excessive chemical usage or salts chemi- fertilizers are essentially salts because of excessive salts we are killing the microorganisms in a very massive way because of that the land has become fallow 42% of tamil nadu's land has become declared fallow <coughs> so agriculture has become a great challenge thousands are committing suicide not able to not able to uh, understand really why their life has become like this fundamentally it is the fertility of the soil is gone because of that the water is gone and uh, they're becoming debt ridden yeah. that's the thing yeah. so the solution for this and the kaveri is drying up kaveri drying up is only an indicator for me that's not the source yeah. the real thing is the soil is dying and the farmer is dying because of that because of that the river is also dying hmm. because the soil is going down you were talking yesterday about something about trees being because for us a afore- forestation or planting trees always means it's immediately re- related to forest so you were talking about how to plant trees and how it's actually useful for the farmers so we can be we... talking about a forestation at all this is not another tree planting campaign yeah this is agroforestry a different way of doing your farming and this is not new this is not rocket science this is something traditionally our farmers have always done which they have forgotten in the last 35 40 years because of commercial campaign now we just trying to put it back the way it was that there must be substantial amount of trees on a tropical land otherwise the rain water that comes down upon us which is the only source of water will not percolate into the into the land it is flowing on the surface because it's flowing on the surface there's enormous t- amount of uh, top soil which is just going away with the uh, every rain and they are saying something like <coughs> 65 billion tons of uh, soil is being eroded per year this means in another 60 years we will hardly have any top soil in the world not just in india yeah. so this is a serious issue and in india it is much more because the human footprint on the land is heavier in india than almost anywhere in the world you were talking about farmers being able to cut their trees so because cutting trees has become a blasphemy now you know cut trees and you're That in so much people who live in the city <laughs> they they don't understand if you do not allow a farmer to cut his tree why will he grow it that's why he's not growing it because there is such policy and there is such activism in the country 
we must understand somebody is willing to invest his land only if he is able to use the produce, otherwise why will he do it? Now I am talking about raising 242 crore trees. You think you can ask the farmer to raise these trees to save the world, to save you in the city? Yeah. Not gonna work. Yeah. We are talking about his economics. His economics will improve phenomenally. Now he's gonna do it. That's what Kaveti Calling is about. It's an economic plan with a significant ecological impact. That is why it will work, because there is economic benefit. Otherwise, you can preach as much as you want. In the city, you can blog, you can be an online warrior, and you can grow trees on your phone screen, <laughs> but that's not going to help. Though this whole, you know, uh, d um, impact that we are having on nature and on all the natural species around us, it, it goes more than just an action, right? It is in consciousness, right? Like there is, there's it, the if consciousness... If we are conscious, one thing we need to do, if you're really conscious, one thing we need to do is contain human population. We're nice, but we're too many. Nobody wants to address this because everybody wants more people on their side. But don't you think that uh, because of this, like the, the, the human consciousness is so uh, constricted, it is so to only self, that it's nobody is even connecting. There has to be a connection for, for us to even feel this. There has to be some kind of expansion. So I'm saying you're doing all of this. And then finally, what, we are giving all of this to a world which no, 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 has no. such constricted consciousness. All is it life, going to... S all my life. My work is about raising human consciousness, yeah. that's all I've done. Yeah. Environment is just a small outcome because we have managed to raise human consciousness in a big way in nearly a billion people across the planet. Now, we are doing a little ecological work, all right? But the main work is the inner ecology of the human being, that's all my whole life is about. But you think that human consciousness has actually risen? Oh, yes, definitely. Otherwise, you think you would find so much support across the world? right now, including United Nations is supporting us big time, all the governments are supporting, only because human consciousness has become little awakened, maybe not totally. So, but you, be part of this and make it happen, huh? <laughs> Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.